uh, you know, that's uh, uh, weather is it is what it is. You know, I think uh, uh, probably the worst weather conditions that uh, that I played in an Open Championship that I was in contention was at St Andrews in '64, where the first round uh, was beautiful in the morning, a lot of low scores, and then this front came in in the afternoon, and I played in the afternoon. I and, uh, and the front was there again the next morning. Then it calmed off and it was beautiful again in the afternoon. And I shot 149 the first two rounds. And I think Bruce Devlin was um, the lowest for those, those two rounds at 147. But I think 140 or 141 was leading the tournament because of the, the good conditions. So, you know, you get caught in those conditions. And that is what you expect in the Open Championship. You expect to know that the weather is going to be part of the elements and you must prepare yourself not only physically but mentally for that. Jack, we're obviously all disappointed that Tiger Woods isn't here. But mm. You're a great competitor. He's chasing your major's record. Were you secretly a little bit pleased that he wasn't here to try no, and No, 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 no. I would, never, I would never be pleased to see Tiger not go after my record because of health. I think that's a shame that he's not here. And, uh, you know, I, I talked to Tiger after the Open and and uh, talked to him about his about his his knee and what he's going to do, and uh, I gave him the name of a fellow that I've worked with and who has really been very successful in helping me and other others who have had similar problems. And whether he's called him or not, I don't know. Uh, but uh, you know, I'm, I would hate to see Tiger not break my record because of not being able to play. And could I just ask you what you think of, the, of Birkdale as a course and what's it like to be back and presumably you've had a great reception from, from the fans here again? Well, I don't think anybody even knows I'm here, but that's, that's <laughs> through okay. The back door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, through the back door. But anyway, uh, I've, I've always liked Birkdale. I've never particularly played it well. I finished second here once, uh, but uh, I never really had a great deal of success here. I, you know, I think I finished, I don't know, top ten a couple, two, two or three times, but uh, uh, never really played great. So. Uh, I never had the experience of, of winning here, so. Uh, uh, but but I think it's a the golf course has always been uh, a little bit more American than some of the others. Even I think it's the best natural piece of property for any of the British Rota. I mean the dunes here. Just flying in, looking at it again, I said, my gosh, isn't that fantastic looking land? What a great place! And you know, and, all, and I, I was looking. I didn't even realize we were flying over the. And all of a sudden, I said, oh, there's a tent. This is the, the golf course. Is, you know? I was just looking at this great piece of ground. And um, I think it sort of uh, tucks in and sort of feels that the containment that we feel in America a lot. Uh, so I think that that's maybe that's why Americans have done well here. And I don't know why the Aussies have done well here, but they have. Uh, but it's uh, uh, but when but when the conditions get difficult, then it's anybody's ball game, obviously. But uh, uh, it's been very much a, it's, it's more of a target golf course than a lot of the golf courses.